Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the new version of ConvertX to DVD. It is the version 3 of this. I already have a video um, on how to get the, the previous version. Anything under, um, I think, 2.9 or 2.10 is actually basically all the same so this video pretty much teaches you how to use the version for 2.9 or 2.10 but they have um, version 3 now so I'm going to be showing you how to get version 3 and all about it alright I use ConvertX to DVD to convert AVI files personally and to burn them and the old one did not have any um like you cannot put really good menus on it basically the menu was really standard and it wasn't all that good so now you can have a whole bunch of custom menus and it's really awesome um also in this video if you don't want to upgrade to version 3 then you can just watch the one as I said before that I have and you can just find out how to do it like on there um, let me see if I can show you the menu before okay, I don't think it has it but yeah alright well, I'll show you how to get it. Okay, first you're going to need the previous version of ConvertX to DVD. You just type in ConvertX to DVD version 3. And then you can go here. And then you can download now. Um, uh, ConvertX three and then you just download it all right now I will show you how to use it let me open it up all right now here is ConvertX to DVD version 3. Okay, first what you're going to want to do is to add a file, just click this green plus right here, green circle with the plus, or you can go to action or file add video file. Or if you already have a project, you can load it. Or if you just want to burn a project already converted, you can go here. All right. So go here click this and then here is the it's not a movie it's already it's just like a little movie clip I added just so I had something to add on to here okay I have this now first before you start using this program you're gonna wanna go to tools this little tab right here and this will come up the options tab alright first let's go to um, general and you can choose the theme like what it looks like and there are many different things that you can mess around with but basically I'm just going to show you the things that you need to do alright you go to the burning tab and you can choose um, the speed I would do the probably four or it depends what kind of burner you have like if you know what the capabilities of your um, burner are then you can set it how you want but I think that 4 is good a low setting because if you have it go fast and it might have glitches in the movie you can delete the folder that means if you don't delete the folder then as I said you can go to like the action and you can burn something you already have and this you can select it and when you're done it ejects the CD from your computer and then yeah um Okay, now let's go to chapters. 
you can choose on the chapters like when you push next on your DVD player you can choose how long the chapters are I have mine every five minutes for videos longer than 15 minutes and naming don't mess with this just keep it how it is by default okay now let's go to TV format um you select this according to where you are um Europe I have US Asia because I live in the US and then you don't want to mess with this really and then you can TV screen full screen widescreen I always keep it automatic because I just use the zoom feature on my DVD player All right now let's go to menu um, default template you can choose all the different ones this is a simple menu it's for if you have like one movie or more um, image wall for video clips this just simple menu basically what they had in the first one but a little more advanced no menu a thriller one and these are for episodes basically um, like two episodes per page and yeah and you can select what each thing does and if you click this then it won't like It'll actually burn the menu to your DVD, but when you enter the movie, it won't. You won't be able to ask, access your menu, so you do not want to select this. Um, play video. You can select it. It plays videos after another. Like if you have one movie, and then after it's done, it'll just go to the next movie instead of going back to the menu. And I have that because I basically only have one movie on each disc. The language, you can pick the language. Um, subtitles if you want them. Let's see what else. Um, audio, you can choose the audio boost, um, make it very loud or whatever you want. Sound effects, when it's done, it um, does a certain sound on your computer, like a little ding or something. You can change it to actually play like a song or something, but I didn't really mess with that because I really don't care. And that's all pretty much you do. And then coding, you don't really want to mess with that either. Alright, well, you have your thing. You can also click this and mess with the different things. Um, the DVD, you can also change it here. Just double click and then click there and then you can select it by default it's DVD um, it's just simple menu and then that is pretty much it so you have that that here's a DVD menu and this and then you just click convert and it says converting converting and it's gonna go fast because this is a very very small file that's only one minute long Okay, and then um, is rendering root menu. That takes a little bit. And I'm gonna show you something else while it is doing that. Okay, I'm gonna go to my documents, and in my documents, it will have a file by default. Say convert X to DVD. This is the one that's going on right now. This is where um, it saves it. If you select delete file after um, you convert it this is the file that will delete and right now they had this and this file is 38.8 megabytes long that's because I have a menu so it makes it a larger file but the menu is always good to have okay and that ren renders title and it says here um, that it's loading and when it's a huge file and it says converting it will tell you how long it takes basically it takes like 40 minutes or less sometimes 30 it really depends on the size but if you have like a 700 megabyte video file plus the menu it basically take 50 minutes to convert and burn and it also matters on your burner too so then it goes here and it says what you want to burn. If I had a CD on there, it will automatically count down from 10 and it will burn for me. 
Otherwise, it'll just stay on this until you enter a CD and you click burn. If you enter a CD right now, it will not do anything until you click burn. But if you have a CD in there, like you could enter a CD in there and you could have it convert and leave and it would burn for you. And it'll be done by the time you get back. Um, and I'm just going to X out that. And again, you just go to my documents, convert X CD, and here's a file. I'm just going to delete that. And it is deleted. Alright, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, um, be sure to message me because I know this program can be very confusing. And thank you for watching.